And the way you're going to do that is with our tea party protocol. So everyone has their pictures in their hand, right? So your first job, and I'm going to signal this for you, and I'm going to do it in chunks. I love the bodies that flipped so quickly to our picture tea party ch anchor chart. So the first thing you're going to do, and I'm going to give you a moment to put on our magic glasses and zoom in and make your observations about what you see in your picture. And then when I tell you, right, you're going to find your group to talk about it, your group of three. Got it? Give me a thumbs up if you are ready to observe your picture. Get those pictures in your hand. Put those magic glasses on. Zoom in. Observe what you see on your picture. Go. Observe. I love how I see some of you having your eyes glued to your picture and you're taking a super close look at what you see. When you have made a good observation and you know what you're going to tell your group, you're going to put a thumb to your heart so I know you're ready to talk. I see lots of thumbs. I see lots of thumbs ready to go. Thank you. We're just observing our picture, so make your quick observation. Remember, when you hear the chime, you're going to go. And you can, because we remember our classroom norms, so you can be kind and respectful and decide who is going to talk first. And everyone's going to get a chance, OK? So I thought thumbs to the heart, so I know that everyone is ready to describe what they see, right? What their observations were on their pictures. When you all are done sharing, everyone gets a chance, you're going to raise your hand so I know you're ready. And then I'm going to tell you what's next. All right? Ready? Flip those bodies back. Let's look at me. Beautiful work in your groups. And I actually loved how some of you chose who went first. I didn't even have to come help. You knew right away what to do. And you were following your classroom norms. You did it in such a respectful way. All right, so next up, we're going to make new groups, OK? And so we're still going to be, remember our learning target, right? I can describe or tell what I see, right? The things that I'm observing in my pictures. All right, so this time you're going to make a new group, and I'm going to show you how you're going to do that, all right? So when I want to go, I'm going to walk around the class, and I'm going to, can you stand? Can you stand for me? Come here. We're going to go, and again, I'm just going to find anyone in the classroom, right? Like, I'm going to have my hands raised, and you're going to raise your hand, so everyone's going to walk around with their hands raised. And we're going to walk, we're going to find, oh, be in my group, in my group, and we're going to go like this. And we're going to hold our hands up so that I can see that you have made a group and you're going to be ready to share. Okay? When you are in your group, thank you, my lovelies. I'm going to borrow your picture. The next thing I'm going to do when I'm in my group is I'm still going to be describing what I observe in my picture, right? And the way... We're going to do that because remember, we're now going to have to predict or make a guess about what we're learning about. Remember, we're going to learn a new module and new learning that's going to happen, okay? So when I now am in my group, I'm going to tell my group about what I see, but this time I'm going to add a sentence. I'm going to say, I see, hmm? So in this one, I see the sun. So I predict we might learn all about the sun in the sky. OK? So when everyone gets a chance to talk today, right, we are going to tell them what we see in our pictures, right, our observations, and make a prediction or a guess about what we're about to learn. So what do you see? I see 
the sunset and the flood. Ooh, what do you predict we're going to learn about? I predict that we're going to learn about the sunset. Going down to the to be dark. Oh, what do you predict we're going to learn about? Tell them. The stars and the Okay, raise your hand when I know. Remember, when everyone has had time to share, you're going to raise your hands. Oh, you can if you want, but gently. If you see that we're still waiting, feel free to share one more thing or make a new prediction. All right, you can stand. Come on back to your spots. Walking calmly, quietly, walking feet. And go back to your seats and have a seat. Sit down and down. Come on. So, three by two by one. Bottoms are flat. Beautiful. And then in one and two and three, my voice is on. All right, my darlings. So I heard such amazing predictions and conversations in our group. So I want to see if y'all made some great predictions about what we are going to learn. Because remember, what did our learning target say? We were going to describe what I observe in pictures, right? And you just did that with your partners. So let's see what y'all came up with. And remember, we're going to use our frame here, our sentence here to help us. I see, hmm. So I predict we might learn about vision. What did you see? So I predict we might learn about the, the about the sunset. Okay. So let's say the whole sentence. Let's do it again. I see. I see. What did you see? The sunset, so I predict we might. Beautiful. All right. We are going to learn from our word wall um, words. So you know that there's a special place in the classroom, right, that we keep all our magical words and tools that will help us. So remember when we, you, um, we're learning about tools and all the things that you were doing, right? When you were making your most magnificent thing, there was a special place in your classroom where you kept those words. So guess what? We now have our new learning. And we already know now we're going to be learning all about the sun, moon, and stars. So what we're going to now do is we're going to get to see our new words. We're going to start adding to our word wall these words that are going to help us when we're writing, when we're talking about um, our sun, moon, and stars, and we'll keep on adding there because we know that that's something that's going to help you with your learning. So our first word, remember Elvin, when he, his favorite thing he first started talking about was the sun. sun. So here's our word sun, right? And we know the letters and that are in here are S-U-N that make up the sun. So I'm going to tell you all about the sun. The sun is the closest star to the earth. So what? The sun is also a star. That's pretty cool, right? And what makes the sun really special, the earth, where we are, receives this heat and light from the sun. So when we see the sun in the daytime, how does it look outside? really bright, right? When that sun is shining high in the sky with no clouds, it's really bright outside. So can anyone think of a sentence that might work for sun? Mm 